so the next area we are going to start is irrm and swaps let me first explain you what are all the various topics involved in this listen study material has included a very less number of questions but in examinations they are asking arbitrage in swaps valuation of swaps all these questions are being tested study material hardly they have given 7 or 8 questions there and those are also easy not so difficult but i have some amount of good questions which are asked in the exams as well as in the rtps and mock tests i will show the questions on the screen okay in that study material questions are also included but study material they didn't make an attempt to, to tell about the basics of these concepts directly see the seven problems they have done they completed the chapter as well first question sir how many marks i can expect from both of these together six marks you can expect trend is every two attempts or three attempts ki one time question will come if our bad luck is there in your attempt only it may come why to leave this chapter is a subject matter first thing okay listen mutual funds mergers corporate valuation everyone will do this if i start with mutual fund nav calculation half the class will move out they will tell that you do we will come later are you understanding or not you complete mutual funds will come later reason is are mutual funds la what great things will happen mutual fund one or two new concepts will be there that's all remaining all are just only laborious works will be there it's a labor work chapter same with other chapters as well four five chapter technically more difficult areas will be you have seen directly that will be the forex options futures currency options currency futures all these are the most complicated areas in our syllabus including portfolio theories no doubt in that okay in that we are in the in this derivatives and exchange segment this is the last segment we are in this area is called as a irrm and swaps examination la what is tested more test of uh, questions will be from swaps means questions in every 10 attempts 5 to 6 times you can expect from irrm and swap in that 5 to 6 also four times question will come from swap and uh, two times it may come from irrm sir what is difference between irrm and swap irrm contains the following concepts forward loan agreement forward rate agreement interest rate futures how many forward loan Hmm. Loudly, ah, yeah, you should know the concept name. What is the first one? Forward loan, ah, huh? forward rate agreement, and interest rate futures. Interest rate futures. Swaps la, there are concepts like this. Basic swap agreement, asset transformation, liability transformation, hybrid swap. Overnight index swap, swap arbitrage, swap valuation. Have you heard about all this? Ille. Basic swap agreement, asset transformation, liability transformation. We will do all this today. No worry. in a guarantee we will do all this provided you understand and remember concepts properly it's not such easy concept here beja fry ah huh. next one liability transformation hybrid swaps overnight index swap swap arbitrage swap valuation swap valuation okay na these are all the various areas here i can't give guarantee for swap valuation remaining all i will cover first reason i will tell you a swap valuation questions will come for 12 marks in exam and those are extremely lengthy when i say extremely lengthy if you touch one hour it will take so i don't want to take that risk now first i will complete all rarely swap valuation question will come 
will come. I am not telling they don't come. Institute tough papers will come now. Some items, ah, uh, those items swap file list only will come. Okay, we are not even going to leave. We don't have that intention. First, uh, doing only swap file list, leaving all the other concepts. Ah, uh, doing all other concepts, keeping swap file list at the last is a subject matter today. Okay. Understanding forward loan, forward rate agreement, interest rate futures, basic swap agreement, asset transformation, liability transformation, hybrid swap, overnight index swap, and uh, swap arbitrage. Huh? Only swap values. Now, first we need to decide. Did you understand the point? One thing I can tell: swap arbitrage. Already, I am. I have put videos in the YouTube as well with regard to the swaps. Okay, that will be two hours thirty-eight minutes. Only one problem I have done. Yeah. So you can understand how big the swap valuations will be, or how many concepts will come. Forward rates will come, bond valuation will come, expectation theory will come, zero coupon bonds will come, swap valuation will come. All in one question will come that will be given for twelve marks in exam. That's a swap valuation. Are you understanding the point? The best that means a best in class FRA swap questions will come in CFA level three. Where level questions they will ask. That means here you can tell 20% of the questions comes in CA level. CA level you can understand how they go to such an extreme where real transactions happen. Recently, Microsoft has entered into contract swap deals. Indian government entered with uh, uh, what to say this Lebanon for oil and uh, natural gas swap contract. Those type of questions they will ask. I mean practical questions which are happening in India they will ask those questions. But CA exams are that much depth they don't go. But swap valuation. They asked two times in examination. First, what I will do is I will cover all the concepts. If time permits, I will also take swap valuation. Or you please listen to that. Listening or not, everyone. Okay, let us start. What is the first one? See there and tell ya. Uh, tell the names first. Forward loan. I will show you what question came in exam. Okay, 2017 level eight marks question came from that. Forward loan. Next question. Forward rate agreement. Three times questions came in the recent attempts from FRA. Next, interest rate. Your last attempt came. Fresh, very, very. Next, what is the next one? Basic swap agreement. Next one, asset transformation. Next one, liability transformation. Next one, hybrid swap. Twelve marks question. Next one, overnight index swap. Last one, swap arbitrage. These are all the various questions here. Shall we start? Let's take the questions. In study material, no great questions are there. I will show you what questions came in exam and what are given in RTP. Let me show you here. No problem. I will show it on the screen. You just uh, write the facts in the question. Beyond that, nothing is required. Okay, this is RTP question. This is RTP question. This is RTP question. This is study material question. Second question in your study material. This is exam question. Let us do these four questions. Sir, these four questions cover what? These four questions will cover forward loan, forward rate agreement, interest rate futures. Shall we do it together? Let's start. One second before this disclaimer number one. Which chapter we are doing now? With the swaps, both we are going to do swaps. I will do five questions. Uh, IR around I will do four questions. Nine types of questions we are going to do. Including overnight index swap, including uh, overnight index swap. Okay, overnight index swap asked in RTP for around eight to nine times in the recent day. Very very important, but not asked in exam. So therefore, chance is there it can directly come with a change in numbers. So let's take reasonable care, try to complete all this. Shall we begin, everyone? Concentrate. IRRM is not a small concept; it is very complicated area. Let's make it more easy. When it comes to the questions, start. First model is called as a forward loan. What is it? What is it? Also called as a forward forward loan. 
also called as what forward forward loan very popular concept ffl they call forward forward loan ffl concept let's read e limited let's name something e limited cash flow forecast estimates that in two months time it will need to borrow rupees 50 million for a six months period current six months money market interest rates are 5.5 percent to 6 percent 5.5 one rate or six but it feels that over next two months interest rates will rise the other details obtained from the money market are as follows two months six months eight months explain how exception limited or expectation limited could hedge its interest rate exposure by means of a forward forward loan read the question exactly same question names are changed 8 marks question came in 2017 exam article it came same attempt rtp question came in exam read the question Okay, first to tell me one thing. This company is forecasting that it wanted to deposit, uh, it wanted to borrow. Uh. Interest rate risk is a systematic risk, uh, unsystematic risk. Uh. And risk coming from the system, uh, risk coming from the company. Uh. Means because of company's mistakes, this problem will come, or because of the economy, the problem will come. That's company. Uh. Economy, this problem will come. Even my company's TCS, RBI, if it changes interest rate, that will affect me. That means interest rate risk is a systematic risk, uh, unsystematic risk. Uh. Sir, I said be here in the class. If you wanted to listen, please be here. Everyone start again. Interest rate risk is a systematic risk or unsystematic risk. Systematic risk is a controllable risk, uncontrollable risk. It can only be compensatable, you can't control. Interest rates we can't control. RPN you can control. Huh? Then you can't control the risk, it's come from the economy directly. Maximum what can we do is, we can only compensate. We can only compensate. Tell me, foreign exchange rates. Controllable, uncontrollable. Not answering. Foreign exchange rates. Controllable, uncontrollable. Huh? Share prices. Controllable, uncontrollable. Huh? Next, interest rates. Controllable, uncontrollable. But for all the three concepts, we have hedging strategies. Forward ki for, uh, foreign exchange, ki foreign exchange hedging. For share ki futures hedging. We have done a share market futures hedging. Next one. Interest ke interest hedging. All systematic risks you can't control but you can compensate. How great the human beings are. Great inventions they have made. Whenever something is uncontrollable and out of my hand, they came with an alternative for that. If you can't control, at least compensate. Listening or not everyone? If you can't control, at least compensate. So therefore, that compensation concept ideology which is start in a concept eh? Swaps. Swaps and interest rate risk management. How this all story started? Let's see. I want, see the question. I wanted to borrow money, lend money. See there and tell. Borrow money, lend money. Borrow money today, after two months. After two months, after two months, interest rate I will know, I may not know. I may not know. See there. Current six months money market interest rate is how much? Answer, yeah. Okay, first tell me 
I want loan for how many months? I want loan for how many months? Loan I require for six months. Now tell me, six months loan when I go to the bank, how much they are quoting? Six months interest rate is how much? Always when they give bid ask type, it is not bid ask, it is a deposit borrowing. It is what and what? A deposit and borrowing. Deposit at? Uh, deposit at 5.5. Borrow at? Very good. Lower rate is? Higher rate is? Very good. Now tell me. I want money today na after 2 months. Ha. For 1 month, ha, for 6 months. Ha. Answer? Now listen. I want money when? After? Okay. After two months, for a period of how many months? Two plus six equal to two by eight contract they call. What they call? What is two? This date is called as a test date, also called as a contract beginning date. Which date? Contract beginning date. Okay, when you start the contract, this is called as a contract start date. Test date they call. Okay. Next, 8 is called as settlement date. Everyone, 8 is called as a... There is another concept of date which comes in Swap's chapter that's called as a reset date. Which date? Reset date. What is reset date? I will discuss in this Swap's concept. Beginning date, settlement date. Listening or not? Okay. Now tell me, I want money for deposit or borrowing. Today, na, after two months, for one month, for eight months, six months, totally expiring at the end of eighth month. Up to here, everyone had a clarity. Yeah. Okay. Now, I went to a bank. I went to a bank. Money market rates means real deposit borrowing rates are given here. Tell me. Read. Two months, six months, eight months. This is the information given. Okay. I will put the question before you one last time. I don't expect wrong answers from you. Read this. Let me make it full screen and explain. Is it visible? Read it. 8 marks question. Please concentrate properly and try to answer. Okay. Shall I ask the question now? Tell me. I want money today na after two months. Ha. Very good. For a period of? This is called as what contract? Two by eight forward contract. What is it? Two by eight forward contract. Two means? Begin date. Begin date. When you are beginning that contract. Ah, eight means? Settlement date. Eight means? Settlement date. Okay. Now. So tell me now. Point is. How many rates are given in the banking market there? Three rates. Tell me. How many how many rates are given? Three rates. We want loan for 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 period. We want loan for two months, ha, six months, ha, eight months. Ha. First rate is relevant. Ha. Second rate is relevant. Ha. Third rate is relevant. Ha. Answer, yeah. None of these rates are relevant. This is the first answer you need to understand. These are all the rates quoted today for two months, for six months, for eight months. The first question. That's why this chapter became like this. Because generally answer will be one among. In this answer will not be one among. General tendency of what we will tell in this. Something we have to tell. Uh, six months is uh, mostly subjectively when we see it is more relevant. But it is not. It is not. Both all are wrong. All are wrong. I am not talking about you. I am talking about rates. All rates are irrelevant rates only. That's why this chapter became forward rate agreements chapter. Listen carefully to the point. Again repeat. I want loan today after two months. For how many months? Expiring at which month? This is the first point. Everyone understood the concept clearly. Okay. I went to the bank. I went to the bank. I asked them, bank, please give me forward rate. Immediately they said, sir, $1 equal to rupees 83. 
I said though that keep it with you. I don't want forward rate on dollar. I want forward rate of interest. Like how you are locking a forward rate on dollar, you please lock forward interest rate also for me. Bank ki forward rate means what? Can you please explain rate quoted today? For a transaction to happen at today, na? For a transaction to happen at a future data. Now tell me, what is this concept meaning? What is this concept meaning? Rate quoted today for a loan borrowed today for two months. Tell me, how to understand this? How to understand the second one? It is a rate quoted today for a transaction to happen today. For a transaction, which transaction? Buying, selling, borrowing, lending. Start again. What is this? It is a rate quoted today for a borrowing to be made today for a period of six months. I wanted to borrow today, na? I wanted to borrow after two months. Ah. Therefore, these rates are relevant or not relevant? Ah. Directly, these rates are irrelevant. Okay? Now tell me. Explain this. Explain this. Eight months. Ah. Explain this. It is a rate quoted today for a borrowing made today for a period of eight months. These other rates. These are all spot rates, ah. forward rates. Ah. Spot rates for 2 months, 6 months and 8 months borrowing made today. We are asking to give a rate today na, after 2 months. Ha. Answer. That means we want rate today. Na. We want a rate to prevail after 2 months. Ha. Answer. First, one more time. Last time tell me. These are all the rates quoted. These are all the rates quoted for loan borrowed today for Two months, six months, eight months, respectively. What we are asking? What we are asking? We are asking a rate to be quoted today to prevail after two months for the next six months. Go back to my words and answer. It is a rate. We want, we want a rate to be quoted today for a borrowing to be made after two months for a period of six months. Now did you understand why this chapter? So tell me now. Last time, answer. How to interpret this one? Rate quoted today for a borrowing made today for a period of two months. Interpret this. Rate quoted today for a borrowing made today for a period of six months. Interpret this. Rate quoted today for a transaction or borrowing made today for a period of eight months. We want any one of these. Huh? No. What we want? Rate quoted today for a borrowing to be made after two months. For a period of six months, that rate is there or not there? Using these rates, we will create that rate. That rate is called as a forward rate. On that agreements are entered, that's called as a forward rate agreement. Understood the concept or not, everyone? IRPT means what? Using that, what you will calculate? Aya. IRPT, the what you will calculate? Huh? Which rate? Like that there should be some mechanism to calculate forward interest rates or not. The mechanism name is forward loan. Understood now? Now tell me. Tell me. I want how much amount? I want how much amount? Technically I can call it 5 crores or not. I wanted to borrow when? For a period of rate is there directly, not there. I went to whom? Bank. I asked bank, 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 please give me a rate today which should prevail after two months for the period of six months such that I should make the payment after eight months. This is the situation I said. Banker said that, okay, I will do one thing. He said, Kaushik Mukesh, do one, do two transactions. 
listen please please create two transactions transaction 1 listen to my words transaction 1 transaction 1 you wanted to borrow today na after 2 months ah answer for a period of means contract will expire at the end of 8th month correct or not everyone he said like this kaushik mukesh you do one thing borrow for 8 months i said are i don't want today ah i want after 2 months they said don't get excited you do what i said borrow for answer you want real money today na after 2 months ah deposit for 2 months tell me borrow for deposit for after that you use the money for next 6 months and pay me the interest i will repeat one more time tell me see the screen 0 6 8 tell me and 2 when i want money sir i am erasing this uh, tell me i want money when today na after 2 months ah for a period of how many months sir expiring on which month answer but there is a rate or no rate or no rate we will create a rate now how to do listen what i will do is i will borrow for full 8 months i will borrow for when i say full 8 months i am borrowing when today spot rate is already there in the question or not ah uh, i am borrowing for 1 month or 2 months or 8 months ah everyone you should tell i should listen what is my relevant rate 5.25 5.75 5.56 5.625 6.1255 fantastic tell me what is the rate how many months i will borrow 6.1255 percent i will borrow for how many months but really i need money today na after 2 months therefore you will keep in dashbina you will deposit deposit for how many months after that you start using it deposit will give you in inflow na outflow na you net both of them you will get a net outflow so therefore what you have to do you have to make a deposit you have to make a now answer my question you will deposit for 6 months or 8 months or 2 months or i want your answer 5.25 5. 5.75 5.56 5.625 6.1255 5. point uh, fantastic that's all how much uh, 5. Point 2.5 percent. So tell me, what is our overall transaction now? Borrow for eight months at the rate of 6.1255 percent and deposit at 5.25 percent for two months. Net interest will be the net rate of interest that are applicable on you. Correct? Ah, this is concept of forward loan. So understood the concept clearly. Ah, uh, this is how questions will come in exam. Yeah, with regard to forward loan, forward rate agreement, how it look like. Also, I will tell you once we do this. Shall we start doing the problem on this? Please keep the heading. You do one thing. Copy these rates. Copy these rates. Okay. Shall we continue? Hmm. Have you copied these rates? Below, write down. Requirement. Requirement. Borrow after two months for six months. Using forward loan contract. Borrow after two months. For six months, using forward loan contract. Okay. Amount rupees five crore. 
amount rupees 5 crore rupees 5 crore let's write the solution one by one sir which concept we are completing now forward loan sir i am not going to do multiple problems on this one one question on each concept i will uh, discuss clear everyone again almost around 8 to 9 hours again i will put on the youtube regarding this swaps because so many people are also asking not just you people i will first tell all the concepts additional problems and additional sums on four topics i will keep on youtube from tomorrow onwards first one additional problems on irrm and swaps next one uh, problems on risk management var calculation will be there na uh, var calculation because uh, no one is finding any kind of topic on youtube students are also consistently asking clear so when no one is putting we should only put so therefore let us show what we can do so we will uh, uh, have a upload of also regarding the risk management such that we can understand the standard normal distribution tables and we can analyze them properly so once listen i will cover every concept ki one or two problem if it is very difficult i will do two if it is okay type of concept like this i will do one listening ah uh, first let us complete all the concepts additional problems once this is completed we can do okay first point uh, in this particular question we are having a exposure as a borrowing a depositing a write down first exposure borrowing amount rupees 5 crore rupees 5 crore strategy tell the two step strategy borrow for 8 months at the rate of 6.1255% per annum invest for 2 months at the rate of 5.25% per annum if they don't give take it per annum terms and do <coughs> okay this is a query 5.25% per annum next application of strategy application of strategy write down number 1 maturity value of borrowing or maturity value of borrowing instead of doing that sorry instead of writing maturity value of borrowing write down interest on borrowings i'm very sorry write down interest on borrow because we are not doing maturity valuation now we are doing the interest calculation so interest on borrowings please tell me how much amount we borrowed 5 crore into what rate 1255% per annum into how many months 8 by 12 mm -hmm. 20 lakh 40 1000 ha huh? 833 ah huh? okay next number 2 what is also second thing interest on borrowing a deposit ah uh, deposit how much amount we are depositing 5 crore borrowing we will do deposit at what percent 5.25 for 6 months or 8 months or 2 months or? Four lakh thirty-seven thousand five hundred. Third one is net interest paid. Sixteen lakh four thousand net interest. Fourth one net interest percentage per annum. net interest percentage per annum okay tell me we paid 16 lakh 4333 for a period of how many months for a period of how many months 6 months 8 months deposit 2 months sorry 8 months borrowing 2 months deposit mean net how many months 6 months we have done hello correct ah uh, now you please answer my question this interest i paid on a Principal amount of how much? 
divided by 5 crore into 12 by 6. Do you understand what is 12 by 6? Six point four four one two four one seven percent per annum. Understood or not, everyone? This is called as six point four one seven percentage per annum. Tell me what we completed now. Now I will ask one question answer. Okay. First answer my question. We borrowed how much amount here? Yeah? 5 crore. On that how much interest we paid for 8 months? Uh, no, no. Amount I am asking. 20 lakh 41,000. Okay. How much deposit we got? 4 lakh 37,500 interest on deposit we got. Net interest how much you are paying? That means you tell me I will ask. How many contracts we entered? How many contracts we entered? Technically, how many contracts we entered? Two contracts. One is a borrowing contract. Second one is a deposit contract. Net law, how much is, is the interest rate? 6.417% per annum. Understanding or not? You will not do borrowing. You will not do deposit. If you would have done both of these, what is the net rate? 6.417. That rate banker will give called as a forward rate. Really you will not borrow. Really you will not deposit. If you would have borrowed for 8 months and a deposit for 2 months, what would be the rate? 6.417. That is a rate quoted by the bank to you today to prevail after two months for the next six months. Do you understand the forward rate agreement concept now? That's how forward rate agreement started. Okay? Really, you don't do this. Futures are really buying, really selling and netta. Here also, really you don't borrow, really you don't uh, invest. If you would have borrowed for eight, if you would have invested for two, remaining six months, how much is a net interest rate? 6.417. This is the rate bank will quote to you. Tell me, this is the rate bank will quote to you when? Answer. To prevail after. For a period of expiring on. These many concepts are there inside this rate. Hope you all, all understand in the concept of forward-forward loan agreement. Everyone in the class. Done. We have done with first question for 8 marks. This is a question game in RTP as well as in the exam. Now. Let us take question number 3. Before that, if you want to take a break, take a short break and come. It's 11.45, 12 o'clock, we will start again. Please, if you come back next to one and a half hour, I will complete off entire forward rate agreement, interest rate futures as well. Okay. So, let us continue. Next one, we completed a forward forward loan. Next concept we are going to cover is forward rate agreement. What is the next concept? Forward rate agreement. That is the next concept we are going to cover. What is this concept of forward rate agreement? How this actually work? Let us try to understand. This is more refurbished way of understanding forward loan contract. Your study material is second question. ISM is second question. Second question or first question something? Second question, is In ISM, second question. Here in this book, it is a third one. In my material, I gave the solutions also for this below. But don't see the solution. First, see the question. How to approach when question comes in exam? Complication will be there. One question if you do. Any kind of question that comes in exam, you will be able to solve. Shall we? Okay. Forward loan loan one question completed. Next, we are coming into the concept called as forward rate agreement. Okay. TM FinCorp has bought a 6 by 9 rupees 100 crore forward rate agreement at 5.25%. On fixing date, reference rate that is MIBAR turns out to be period rate. 3 months MIBAR 5.5, 6 months MIBAR 5.7, 5 
नईन मंथ विभार फै पॉइंट एट फाइव यु आर रिक्वय टू डिटर्म प्राफिट आर् लास्ट टू द फिकॉर्प इन टर्म्स आफ बेसि पॉइंट एंड द सेटिलमेंट अमौंट दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन दट इज बीइंग आस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन Read the question, please. Before we do this, question number one, I will take and I will explain one concept. With that, you can understand what is happening in this. Then we can do the solution. This question is complicated question. Question A is uh, simple. Answer is size is simple, but understanding makes all sense. So it takes some time. Some time represents around 15-20 minutes. We have to spend on this question. Then you will get a clarity. Example, any new question comes, you will be able to solve. At least first you will understand what is going on in the question. Read the question. Okay. Now, let me first tell you, I will ask you one question, answer one by one. Uh, take question number one. Information you have on hand or not, I ask you to write the question facts. Okay? Uh, tell the facts of that question one, sir. What are all the facts of question one? Forget about facts, yeah. Tell me, what is the forward loan net interest rate? Not 5, you got some 6.815 or something. Uh, 6 point? Uh, 417, sorry, I uh, forgot. Uh, 6 point? 417 percent. What is the 6.417? What is the 6.417? Net interest rate. When it is net interest rate? If you borrow for 8 months and deposit for 2 months, net interest rate is how much? Really, you will borrow... Really, you will borrow for 8 months and invest for 2 months. Huh? If you do that, net interest rate. Huh? Therefore, bank will give this rate to you directly. Listening or not everyone, I will ask one question, answer. What is the formula for forward rate under Forex, under IRPT? 1 plus RD by 1 plus RF equal to F by S. F by S. What is the meaning of this formula, derivation? What is the meaning of this formula? Sir, it is very simple. Listen carefully. When you write the formula, essence will be killed, as I already said. What happens in this formula, I will explain. With this, you can interlink that. Today, $1 equal to rupees 80. $1 equal to rupees 80. Interest rate in India, 10%. Interest rate in US, 5%. Interest rate in India, 10%. Interest rate in USA, 5%. Okay, now. $1 I invested in USA. One dollar will be one dollar after one year. It will increase to, it will increase. Increase by what rate? Interest rate. My one dollar will become 1.05 interest will be there. Okay, that equal to rupees 80. I invested 80 rupees in India. In India, I can invest at what rate? 10% rate. That means I will get along with interest 1.10. Correct or not? Tell me, after one year, how many dollars will be there on hand? Answer. 0, 5. Uh, this will become how much? 88. This is one year after today na one year after. I want one dollar. 88 divided by 1.05. Tell the answer. 83.81. Okay. Stop here. Tell me. What is this and what is this? What? What is this? What is this? Spot rate is how much? 80. 83.81 is what? When this rate is quoted? When this rate is quoted? Today. This is for which transaction? Today. This is for which transaction? After one year. Both the rates are quoted? Both the rates are quoted? Today. Now I will ask you this one. Dollar 1 $1.05 equal to rupees 88. Rupees 88. This dollar 1.05 can be written as dollar 1 into 1 plus 0 0.05 correct ah? this 88 can be written as rupees 80 into 1 plus 0 0.10 correct ah? okay 
we want forward rate for dollar or forward rate for rupiah we want forward rate of dollar so this one dollar i can write it as f i want forward rate for that okay plus this is rda rfa hey hey foreign rate rda rfa equal to this is a what rate spot rate into 1 plus rda rfa answer so f equal to s into 1 plus rd by 1 plus rf yes you take to the other side 1 plus rd by 1 plus rf equal to f by s this is how this formula came we don't have time when you are doing the chapter therefore i didn't give any derivations but one thing i wanted to tell this particular formula has a meaning or not yes what is the meaning suddenly why i am discussing about this the what is the meaning behind this tell me if i have how many dollars today answer i invest for how many years huh? one year it becomes it become 1.05 if i have 80 today i deposited at what rate 10% it will become how much today na after one year now i will ask you really i deposited 1 dollar really i deposited 80 rupees if i would have done then my amount would have become 88 then rate would be 83.81 correct ah bank will directly give this rate really you didn't uh, deposit in usa really you didn't deposit in india if you do like that what is the net rate same also happens here if you would have borrowed for eight months if you would have deposited for two months the net rate is how much 6.417 how banks give you 83.81 banks also give you 6.417 well, first did you understand the concept clearly yeah. really you are borrowing or not borrowing Really depositing or not depositing? Directly bank will give what rate? Forward rate. Which rate? How they got that forward rate? How they got that forward rate? How they got that forward rate? Using a concept called as a forward forward loan. What agreement? Forward forward loan. How IRPT creates a forward rate? Like the forward forward loan will be used to create FRA. Listening or not, everyone understood. Next issue. So, like that, how much is a rate? This is our borrowing rate, lending rate. Borrowing rate, lending rate. Borrowing rate today, na, after two months. For one month, for six months. Very good. Now, listen. Six months completed. How many months? Six months completed. Tell me. What is our what is our actual rate i will give you two examples really you went to borrow after two months really you went to borrow after at that time actual rate in the market is traded at five percent actual rate is actually trading at eight percent yesterday futures when we done if it is two to eight five if it is 2272, yesterday only we have done yeah. Not so long. First question I have done or not? If the actual futures price happens to be 2285, if actual futures price become 2272, net settlement you will get a gain or loss. Had we seen that or not, everyone? Like that. Please also see here. Point number one, tell me. I went to the bank when? Today. To borrow when? I want a rate to be quoted. I want a rate to be quoted today, but that should prevail after, for a period of, expiring at the end of, now answer my question, what is the rate bank has given us, at that rate I will borrow today, na, after two months, ah. answer, ah, what is the rate, but really the rate became how much after two months, ah? everyone, five percent, now tell me, I will borrow at 5 percent, 6.417 percent. Answer, I will borrow at 5 percent, 6.417 percent. After two months, then why you entered into forward agreement? Start again. Start again. Stop it. Start again. In this chapter, we are really borrowing or not borrowing? Really borrowing? Uh -huh. Not borrowing. Are they after two months say we are really borrowing or not borrowing? 
ఆ హౌ మెనీ క్రోర్స్ ఫైవ్ క్రోర్స్ సరిపోయింది స్టార్ట్ నౌ ఐ ఆమ్ హ్యావింగ్ బ్లర్ వన్ ఆన్సర్తో యూ షార్టెడ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సార్ టెల్ మీ ఆన్సరే చెప్పాలా ఏంటి ఫార్వర్డ్ లోన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద నెట్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ రేట్ ఫార్వర్డ్ లోన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద నెట్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ రేట్ దట్ ఈస్ అవర్ బారోయింగ్ రేట్ ఆ లెండింగ్ రేట్ ఆ టుడే నా ఆఫ్టర్ టూ మంత్స్ ఆ లాక్డ్ టుడే బట్ ప్రివైల్ ఆఫ్టర్ టూ మంత్స్ ఫర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ సార్ ద ఓన్లీ డిఫరెన్స్ యూ విల్ సీ ఇన్ ఫార్వర్డ్ లోన్ ఐ మీన్ IRRM and all other forward contracts, I will tell you. All other forward contracts, I mean futures, options, or even forward rates in forward exchange, in all these, there is one common thing. Contract expires on the date. Here, contract starts and extends. Tell me. I entered into two months forward contract to buy dollar. Once means what? I said, I entered into two months forward contract to buy dollar. ask rate is locked for me okay how many months forward that means i will buy a dollar today na after two months ah for how many months hey there is no concept of for six months for five months that day contract also expires hey and you are testing me whether i know listen here take dollar forward sir you should know difference ah uh, then tell me two months of forward rate of dollar means what two months of forward rate of dollar means what you are going to buy dollar sell dollar buy dollar today na after two months ah uh, for how many months uh, that question will not arise yeah you will buy after two months that's all contract completed over second come to options sp options la sp sp means strike price call holder will buy at sp or sell at sp buy or sell put holder sell at sp buy sp for how many months buy sp for will not be there yeah buy sp on maturity date buy sp on a put holder sell at sp on maturity date on maturity date completed problem with this concept is we are not going to close the contract on the date we are going to start the contract that's why you are all getting confused in irrm chapter are you understanding or not tell me when i promise to borrow in this question when i promise to borrow answer after 2 months for a period of for a period of tell me i went to the bank i wanted to lock a interest rate today itself what is rate this rate will prevail to me today na after 2 months ah answer after 2 months for how many months very good now tell me after 2 months i went to the bank i asked bank bank give me 50 crore 50 uh, how much 5 crore give me 5 crores loan i said they said okay sir thank you very much we will give i said i i locked a interest rate already i locked a interest rate already you said i am having a forward rate agreement i locked a interest rate you said bank ras please show the agreement it show okay 6.417 now tell me after 2 months when you went for borrowing what is the rate prevailing in the market answer you are locked it you locked it but what is the actual interest rate on that day Uh, now tell me you will borrow at actual rate of 5% uh, you will borrow at a locked rate uh, 6.417 5% uh, answer it is always 5% sir so then why we entered into 6.417 listen carefully this is called as this is called as forward rate agreement really you will not borrow at 6.417 you will not lend at 6.417 listen carefully to the point what is the rate of interest prevailing after 2 months 
what is the rate prevailing in the market after two months answer now you tell me what is the locked interest rate 6.417 percent six point four one seven percent the borrowing a deposit borrowing a deposit borrowing so I will write it as borrowing what is the actual interest rate in the market answer I will take a reversal position now what position reversal do you remember futures contract buyer will really buy a take a counter seller answer seller will really sell a take a counter buyer borrower will really borrow not take a counter deposit tell me what is a counter deposit actual interest rate what is the actual interest rate five percent now tell me i am having a deposit rate of i am having a deposit rate of five percent i am having a lending a borrowing rate of six point four one seven i am having a net borrowing a net deposit inflow na outflow na everyone tell me how much is the net outflow 1.417 percent 1.417 is rupees a percent we need to apply that on some amount or not what is the amount what is the amount 5 crore please tell the value no no 7 lakh is for 7 lakh is for one year hey 6.417 per annum we calculated ah. we want for per annum 6 months ah, 6 months 5 crore into 1.417 percent into 6 by 12 3 lakh 250 ah. okay 3 lakh 54,000 250 this is a net outflow na, net inflow na. net now see the magic of forwarded equipment how beautifully they drafted this concept see the screen Point number one, everyone forget about all the things, listen carefully. I wanted to borrow today after two months for a period of, for a period of, I went to the bank, I asked for what rate? I asked for what rate? Forward rate. How much rate they have given? This is a rate given to me to prevail after, after, for a period of, okay, I waited for two months. Two months after, I went for borrowing. I went for borrowing. Now tell me. You should tell. I should listen. Bank market. Interest derivative market. Here this market. Bank market. Interest derivative market. Bank market. You went for borrowing today. Na, after two months. Ah. You went for borrowing today. Na, after two months. Ah. At that time, interest rates are falling or raising. Answer. That means it is an advantage from you on the banker side. Correct or not? That means you wanted to borrow how much? Answer. Into what is the rate? For how many months? Tell the value. Hmm? 12 lakh 50,000. 12 lakh 50,000. What is 12 lakh 50,000? It is the interest I have to pay in which market? Banking market. If I borrow after, for a period of, we are doing this problem today, na, after two months. Ah. After two months, we are standing and seeing this. After two months, I went to the bank. At that time, what is the actual interest rate? 5%. I borrowed at 5%. I am happy or unhappy? Ah happy though i locked at 6.417 i'm still borrowing at how much rate five percent i borrowed at five percent twelve lakh fifty thousand this is the interest i will pay for six months period understood the point or not second in the interest derivative market you lost this amount correct or not how much amount you lost three lakh this is one outflow three lakh hmm, fifty four thousand two fifty total both of them sixteen lakh 4,250. What is my net outflow? 16 lakh 4,250. Everyone, 16 lakh. Tell me, how many markets I put my legs? I am a hedger now. I am a 
hedger first i enter into which market loan market next i enter into which market derivative market first loan market i mean money market second one debt mark uh, uh, derivatives market la entered okay now listen second situation if the actual interest rate turns out to be how much percent tell me i locked at what rate rate became how much in the market i'm happy or unhappy see here i will be unhappy and happy because see here money market and derivative market you tell me how much i will borrow after 2 months i am only telling the answers here how much i will borrow after 2 months answer at what rate for how many months write down tell me the answer ha huh? how many lakhs 20 lakhs now you should tell in the fra market that I means the interest rate derivative market what is the locked in rate participation yeah what is the locked in rate this is a borrowing rate or deposit rate now tell me actual interest rate will be what rate deposit rate deposit is made at what rate 8% i am having a gain or loss gain tell me 1.583 rupees a percent what is the amount 5 crore tell me what is the total gain into 6 by 12 5 crore into 1.583 percent into 6 by 12 395000 idi gain or loss gain or loss this is a payment or income payment or income this is a payment this is a income net you tell me 16 lakh that's the beauty at any cost your payment will not go beyond 16 lakh 4250 that's how the forwarded agreements works whether rate is 5 whether rate is 8 whether rate is 50 whether rate is 100% 80% 70% your payment don't go beyond 16 lakh 4250 certainty or uncertainty certainty is called as hedging did you understand the point or not so why we discuss this now uh, without discussing how will you understand forward rate agreement okay now see here concept if you don't that's why because of all these reasons you don't know na that's why when study material answer is given you are not understanding what they are writing so the point is whenever i say forward rate agreement person have his legs in how many market answer now you tell me technically how much i borrowed here sir see the screen yeah everyone how much i borrowed how much 5 crore again in this market how much i borrowed technically my borrowing amount is how much this is money market yeah i borrowed how much 5 crore again i enter into contract in the futures market for another 5 crores or not totally how much is amount 10 will not be there this 5 crores is called as notional principal this 5 crores is called as this 5 crores is called as and a real borrowing or notional derivative market is a real market it's not a real market delivery or no real delivery when real delivery is not there open interest can be anything open interest can be now tell me axis bank is there which bank axis bank which bank axis bank is there next 10 minutes if you listen then only you can understand please listen carefully which bank is there axis bank is there with the axis bank you are entering into a contract fra contract stop writing listen carefully with whom with whom you are entering into forward rate agreement okay you went to axis bank you asked him axis bank axis bank i want 5 crores i want you said axis bank please give me a rate today itself which should prevail after 2 months for a 6 months borrowing bank said that please leave the bank why sir please give forward rate forward rate agreement is a different agreement loan agreement is a different agreement you want loan or forward rate they are i want loan 
then shut your mouth and come after two months at that rate at that two months after what rbi fixes at that rate i will give you loan i can't block interest rates it is against to the rbi guidelines oh then what should i do go into over the counter derivative transaction which transaction over the counter derivative transaction where it is available it is available in all the commercial access bank uh, branches you go there there i have to borrow na there you will not borrow there you will enter into fra then customer got confusion i want what should i do tell me clearly banker said you come after 2 months borrow at whatever rate prevailing on that day rate may increase rate may decrease if that is your fear you enter into a fra with the bank listening or not okay he asked fra i should enter with whom enter with canara bank enter with sbi enter with access bank means what this and this are two different contracts this can be with one bank this can be with another bank go to some bank lock an interest rate enter into fra two months after come to me i will give the loan at whatever the rate prevailing net adjustment lo you will get a fixed amount 16 lakh 4250 in the given example not so far where it works in india tell me the point again i am borrowing a depositing a how much today na after two months ah can you really lock the bank le- uh, borrowing and lending rates can you really lock the bank lending and borrowing rates then every bank will do that for customers then r it will be again as to the rbi guidelines do you know what is the problem rbi tinkers the interest rates means it will increase it will decrease in order to in order to uh, in order to manage what inflation in order to manage when rbi increases interest rate after two months if you say that no 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 i lock it to my customer already at 6.417 percent may rbi will hit the bank with slipper i increase interest rates to tackle inflation may who the hell are you to tell that i will borrow only at 6.417 you must increase the rates then what can i do maximum what you can do is you can go for alternatively second contract that is not borrowing lending contract that is a notional borrowing and lending contract really you will borrow in derivatives sir you will not borrow in derivatives sir you will not borrow <laughs> listening or not everyone futures la really you will buy ya you will not buy ya buyer will take a counter buyer will take a counter seller will take a counter like that here borrowers will take a deposit depositor will take a borrowing net lo you will get a loss or a gain but the beauty is see here cash market derivative market interest rate interest rate uh, actual interest rate actual interest rate see the screen actual interest rate increase actual interest rate decrease if actual interest rate increases in currency market i will cry in which market i will cry currency market i mean money market la cash market la i will cry because i am borrowing at a higher rate or lower rate ah huh? higher rate but i will be very 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 happy in the derivatives market because if the interest rate hikes for a borrowing i will take a higher deposit already i entered into which contract in derivatives adhe fra la what contract borrowing a lending a but on the date interest rate increase or decrease a answer you will take you will really borrow na take a counter deposit a counter deposit at a lower rate or higher rate a deposit at a higher rate means you will be happy or unhappy a that means you will be happy when this happens ananda bhaspas next tell me actual interest rates are reduced or increased in money market answer reduce you are happy and happy ah very very happy oh <laughs> happy and happy ah very ha- extremely happy because when i go for borrowing interest rates are interest rates are reduced or increased or radio i can borrow at a lower rate or higher rate or lower rate i am very happy but in forward rate you have entered into borrowing a uh, depositing a original original 
borrowing when you go for reversal deposit you can deposit at a higher rate of falling rates are you are happy or unhappy ah huh? unhappy therefore you will again laugh or cry cry your laugh cry your cry laugh or manage that's why in both the cases it is 16 lakh 4000 you are always keeping neutral so did you understand interpretation of question number 1 clearly ya yeah? if i have to explain this is how i can tell question number 1 meaning are you understanding the point or not all credits to cfa so how beautifully they explain interest rate swaps how beautifully they explain the forward rate agreements forward rate agreement is not a real agreement not a real borrowing not a agreement it's an agreement only it's not a real borrowing it creates a artificial world okay with a notional principle because you need not really borrow 10 crores are you listening everyone ah uh, sir answer how much amount is the real borrowing we are making in this question answer yeah 5 crore notional principle you can enter also for 500 crores really you will not borrow that's called as a risky hedge if rates are falling na you are gone okay i told na yesterday long and long positions people will take on both the sides in futures then you are taking lower risk a higher risk a aithe you will become billionaire or you will become bhiksham are you understanding or not so anything will happen like that when i say it is a notional principle really you need not borrow really you need not lend it will only be called as what principle not listening what principle uh, here in this case how many contracts i entered how many contracts i entered first contract is money market uh, sorry uh, now first contract is means it is with whom bank it is with whom bank second market is derivative this is not a normal derivative in stock market this is the over the counter derivative this is the really transaction happens you know with whom you are dealing stock market if you buy and sell do you know to whom you are selling do you know from whom you are buying but here you know because through the counters this will happen are you understanding or not for example she is the manager in a bank i enter into contract she will now sign on the agreement our kaushik mukesh will be having a receipt of some amount we have written some amount now what is that 3 lakh 95750 on a gain for forward rate agreement entered on so and so date like that they will give me a check of 395750 really that's why this is called as what answer yeah this is called as what over the counter derivatives this derivative is not a exchange traded derivative this is a over the counter derivatives why it is called as derivative because really no transaction happens this is like futures say but with a banker listening or not everyone so therefore understood the logic behind the previous question or not why i am explaining this all before we start is next question la basics also you don't understand if you don't understand this without understanding all these things you will open study material and you try to solve at then you don't understand what is happening there is the problem with this chapter if you understand the background and do easy if you don't understand background and start doing the everything is unclear i have one last question before you tell me with whom i am dealing tell me with whom i am dealing with whom i am dealing very good who fix the interest rates eh? bank will fix the interest rate rbi fixes minimum rate rbi fixes maximum rate in between who will fix the rates any bank according to the competition with the other banks they will tinker the interest rates and they will announce correct or not sir vehicle loan in all the banks is same or different ah eh? home loans in all the banks is same or different ah eh? processing charges in all the banks are same or different uh, depending on the competition number of customers the place geographical location demographic policy all these will be taken into consideration for a bank in order to fix the interest rates clear sir i will be little bit fast from now please listen carefully if you don't listen i can't do anything i am telling you very seriously listen carefully we are entering into which agreement forward rate agreement forget about money market which agreement we are entering agreement with whom banker tell me now 
actual interest rate you forget here. Yeah? We blocked the interest of how much? Car answer here, yeah, how much we blocked? 6.41 we blocked. We will really borrow now, we will take a counter deposit. Huh? Counter? At what rate? At what rate? Actual interest rate. Who will give that actual interest rate? Huh? There the problem started. Since a banker is one of the party to the contract, he always try to make us lose. Therefore, they used to quote the rate such that we will get loss in that contract. Sir, I didn't understand, sir. Then I will give you an example, sir. How much you locked? You came to the bank after? After two months. Okay? You asked me. Mm, give the counter deposit rate. I said 7.5%. How much? Answer, yeah. Then, deposit will be made at 7.5. You will win, I will lose. Correct or not? When I am fixing the rate, when I know that I am losing, I will quote higher rates or lower rates intentionally. Lower rates I will quote. Tell me, original contract is borrowing or lending? At what rate? Really you are borrowing or notional? We are in which market? Derivative market. Real? All are only notional? Notional. Tell me. Borrowing rate. Borrowing rate. You came for a counter? You came for a counter? Original contract. Original contract. You came for a counter? Deposit. Okay. Who is the other party to the contract? I am the other party. Will I make me to lose? I will quote 5.5. Intentionally, I will quote intentionally. I will quote intentionally. Rate you tell me, I will quote 5.5. Why I will quote 5.5? Because that rate I only have to fix. Yeah, now tell me, you will lose or you will gain? Answer reverse the transaction now. It's not a borrowing, it's a deposit. It's a tell me, your original transaction is your original transaction is how much rate? 6.417. You came after? You ask Kaushan Mukesh, give the counter borrowing rate. I gave 8%. Now you will lose again. You are losing and gaining is in whose hands? Answer. Uh, then what is this agreement? A sadist agreement. That's why world brought a concept called as a Mibar, which is not in the control of the banks. That's how that question came. That's why reference rate Mibars are given. And the reference rate concept started in this world. That's why in that question, MIBAR rates are given. MIBAR is not fixed by any bank. MIBAR is fixed by stock exchange. Not even stock exchange will fix. Sir, so tell me, share prices of any day, TCS share prices are fixed by Ratan Tata, na? And Ratan Tata fixed TCS price. So today, you stay at 4,200. Means it will stay at 2,900. No. Are you understanding or not? Are you answer, yeah. If you just tell rate, you stay at 4,500. You stay there, it will stay. Na? It will stay. Na? No, it will not. Means can I control the share prices? You can't even control MIBAR rates. That's how MIBAR concept started in interest rate markets. Means no bank should be able to control the rates because bank is one of the percent to the contract here yeah. there should be transparency in that rate when i am one of the party why i will make me to lose when you come for borrowing when you come for uh, borrowing means with a counter deposit when you come i will fix a lower rate when you come for counter borrowing i will fix higher rate at any point of time you will get a loss again answer uh, then customers will always lose this is what happened in the world till 1999 1999, they thought that there should be some reference rate given to this. That's how the concept of LIBAR started in London. London Interbank Offer Rates. LIBAR started. 2013, LIBAR scam happened in the world. You Google that after the class. LIBAR scam happened in the year. 2011, it started. 2013, LIBAR scam broke out. Do you know today there is no LIBAR rate? LIBAR MIBAR rates are not there today. Any path chand kai questions. All these are very old questions given in exam. 
they are go on repeating the same questions without understanding what is happening today in the market as a today libar rates are not there libar scam happened now after that they close the libar rate today what is the rate reference rate what rate that's why in the year 2020 sorry in the year 2015 india started one organization called as financial intermediaries and money market developers one association formed in india that association in consideration with all other banks on a bidding process they will fix a reference rate for the next day i can't tell all these things now but try to understand LIBAR rates, MIBAR rates, reference rate, PLR rates, all these rates are influenced rate or uninfluenced rates are? Answer. That's how these concepts started. That's how that problem also started it. Okay. Just tell me the concept. Really you will borrow in forward rate market or really you will not borrow? Na? Notional or real? Can I go for more than loan transaction as a notional? Can I go for less than what is I am borrowing really in the notional? Yes, you can do no problem. We are doing this problem as a hedger or speculator. Sir, forward rates will have hedgers or speculators. Answer. Wrong. I can only do FRE also. Only FRE also you can do if you want without having any loan. It's like a gamble bet in futures. Read again. Did you understand the concept clearly now? Uh, now read the first question, you will get the meaning now. See here, I have given full analysis of the answer. Sir, one minute here, please. I have time for you to read. Have you understood this question? Same question I have extended. If rate is 8%, 5%, just now I told you 8 to 5. Ah, those are taken from question 2 only. Which concept? That is RTP question. Whatever I have done now. And you will have like Sarada question. That is an RTP question. Yeah. You, you thought that uh, entertainment purposes I am doing all this. Read the question. Uh, if interest rate becomes how much? If interest rate becomes how much? Uh, now read the analysis I have given here. I will make it full screen. Read it properly. Same question, yeah, same question with the 8 and 5 percent added to that. How FRA look like? Read, read, please. Don't waste time. Okay. Huh? Ah, twelve lakh fifty thousand plus three fifty four two fifty sixteen lakh four thousand two fifty. Essence you understood, sir. Everyone in the class. Uh, this is how you need to do the answers for the forward rate agreement, sir. Which concepts we completed now? Forward, forward loan. Uh, forward rate agreement. But forward rate agreement we have done through banker, done through reference rate. They done using banker's quotation, done using the reference rates. Bankers, now we are going to do the FRA with a reference rate in that. Reference rate is an influenced rate, uninfluenced. Uninfluenced rate. Bank also don't have that number. On that day, whatever may prevail, they have to close the contract at that time. That's how the Mibar concept and Libar concept started in this world. Okay. Let's understand this and do. Now read the question. There is a sense in doing the answer. Start. TM Fincorp. Read, sir. TM Fincorp has bought, 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 bought. Uh, bought what? 
6 by 9. Everyone now, will now explain me. What do you mean by 6 by 9? I wanted to borrow today. Wa? I wanted to borrow after 6 months. Ah. For a period of how many months? 3 months. Expiring at the end of? Fantastic. This is a concept. Okay. What is 6 by 9? Borrow after 6 months for a period of 3 months expiring on 9th month. Okay. Next. At a FRE of 5.25. Please tell me what is 5.25? What is 5.25? What is 5.25? What is 5.25? This is a rate given by bank or rate on FRE agreements. Huh? Clearly they said na FRE. Again, why you get doubt? This is a FRA rate. Locked by the banker and the customer. At what rate? 5.25. This is a rate prevailing on which date? This 5.25 is given on which date? Yeah? Huh? For a transaction to happen after? For a period of? Really, we will borrow at this rate? Or really, we will not borrow? Na? Really, we will not borrow in that rate. Different rates, so we will borrow. After? Can a bank has a right to lock an interest rate today itself to apply after 6 months in the real borrowing world? RBI won't allow that. Therefore, we can't do that in the real world. What you can't do in the real world, you can do in the dream world. I am talking about finance. Tell me. What is the dream world here? FRA. FRA and money market are same or different? Huh? Answer. That's all. Both are two different markets. One is a money market, another one is a derivatives market. Stock derivatives, I mean exchange traded derivatives, bank OTC derivatives. We are now in bank OTC derivatives, sir. Then uh, exchange, stock exchange can't involve, are they interested futures? Interest rate? Are they last concept in this area? Conceptually, are you all understanding the points or not? First, tell me that. Uh, 5 to 10 minutes, you have to complete this question with the knowledge you have. Start one by one. What is the reference rate? Sorry, okay, forget. FRA is blocked. Locked in interest rate is how much? How much? 5.25. Okay, now. I wanted to buy a FRA at 5.25. On fixing date, on a... Fixing date. Fixing date means after how many months? Sir? Six months. Reference rate that is MIBAR turns out to be 5.5, 5.7, 5.85. Now I will ask the question. See this properly. Read this. Half a minute time. I will ask one question. If you give wrong answer, I will start from beginning. Need not do anything harm. If I repeat one more time, enough. You will, you will only realize. Tell me now. I wanted to... First tell me, I am a speculator, a hedger. I am a speculator, a hedger. You read the question or not? Uh, I am a speculator, a hedger. I am a pakka speculator in this question. There is no real loan. Eh? There is only one market I am entering. Which market? Forward rate agreement. That's all. I wanted to bet on interest rates. I wanted to bet on. Okay. Very, 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 very important. Please listen carefully. A concept is complicated. Answer don't see. You can't understand. Point number one. I blocked what rate? FRA. FRA at what rate? 5.25% 5 5 on fixing date means on 6th month beginning reference rate of MIBAR turns out to be how much 5.5, 5.7, 5.85 what is relevant rate 5.5 5 5.7 5.85 5.5 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. do you know how I am listening 5.5 5.5 some are telling 5, some are telling 7. I will ask one thing. First or second or third? This is correct. First or second or third? Huh? Everyone? 
ఫస్ట్ సెకండ్ థర్డా ఫస్ట్ కరెక్టే ఫస్ట్ సో టెల్ మీ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ రేట్ ఫర్ హౌ మెనీ మంత్స్ త్రీ మన్ ఐఎమ్ బారోయింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్ ఏ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ గివెన్ ఆన్ జీరో డేట్ టుడేనా ఆఫ్టర్ సిక్స్ మంత్సా ఫిక్సింగ్ డేట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఆఫ్టర్ సిక్స్ మంత్ సిక్స్ మంత్ కి ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు బారో ఫర్ హౌ మెనీ మంత్స్ పీరియడ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రెలవెంట్ రేట్ విచ్ రేట్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ నౌ యూ టెల్ మీ వాట్ ఈస్ అ లాక్డ్ ఇన్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ రేట్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ లాక్డ్ ఇన్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ రేట్ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఓకే సారీ సారీ ఫైవ్ పాయింట్ టూ ఫైవ్ నౌ టెల్ మీ ఐఎమ్ బారోయింగ్ ఆ డెపాసిటింగ్ యూ ఓన్లీ సెట్ దట్ హీ ఈస్ ఎ స్పెక్యులేటర్ హీఈస్ నాట్ బారోయింగ్ నో స్టాక్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఆ వేర్ హీ సెట్ హీస్ బారోయింగ్ బాట్ బాట్ అంటే బారోయింగ్ ఇదే ఇదే బట్టి లిసన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ బారోయింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ డిపాసిటింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఎ బయింగ్ అండ్ సెల్లింగ్ కాంట్రాక్ట్ వీఆర్ ఇన్ డెరివేటివ్స్ మార్కెట్ డెరివేటివ్స్ లో బారోయింగ్ లెండింగ్ విల్ నాట్ బి దేర్ డెరివేటివ్స్ లో బై సెల్ విల్ బి దేర్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ లో బారోయింగ్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ లో బారోయింగ్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ లో వాట్ యూ విల్ డూ బై అండ్ సెల్ లైక్ దట్ హియర్ ఆల్సో విల్ బై అండ్ సెల్ లిసన్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ వన్ డాలర్ ఈక్వల్ టు రూపీస్ ఎయిటీ వన్ డాలర్ ఈక్వల్ టు రూపీస్ ఎయిటీ ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు బై means i am buying what i am buying what i repeat one more time 1 dollar equal to 80 commodity is what again a stair amount of again start 1 dollar equal to 80 commodity at the rate of again commodity is at the rate of likewise fra is a contract fra is a fra is a commodity you can understand that i have to buy that when i have to buy for buying commodity should have a name or not i will buy mibar i will buy what mibar mibar equal to 5.25 ki you blocked that mibar happens to be 5.5 after 6 months after now tell me you you uh, agreed to buy at what rate one mibar equal to how much rate you agreed to buy 5. that rate of mibar has become how much after 3 how much after 6 months ha huh? you will really buy you will take a counter sell counter sell at 5.5.5 original buy counter sell you got a profit or loss profit or loss 5.25 ki bought 5.5 ki sell profit or loss i mean some people are still thinking profit or loss profit loss how much profit 0.25 rupees a percent percent is not a profit it should be multiplied with some amount what is that some amount 100 lakhs 100 lakhs a crores a 100 so multiply 100 crores into 0.25 percent 100 crores into 0.25 percent answer that is for one year correct or not into contract is for how many months three months into three by twelve six lakh six lakh uh, no answer that is the six lakh twenty five thousand where interest rates perhaps are there in our textbook 12 point one six huh? okay so see here uh, no answer tm fincorp did you see this question or not సార్ ఇంటూ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ హ్యాడ్ అన్నా త్రీ సిక్స్టీయా మనసులో యూ క్యాలకులేట్ ఆ దట్స్ నో ప్రాబ్లం టెల్ మీ హౌ మచ్ ఛాన్సర్ యూ గాట్ సిక్స్ ల్యాక్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ ఓకే సీ హియర్ దే హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ ఇన్ డేస్ దే హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ ఇన్ డేస్ దట్స్ వై బికాస్ దే హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ ఇన్ డేస్ దే డింట్ టేక్ త్రీ బై ట్వెల్వ్ దే హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ హౌ మచ్ నైన్టీ టూ బై త్రీ సిక్స్టీ రిమైనింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈ సేమ్ యూ కెన్ సీ దాట్ if you take a number of days answer may slightly change because it is 100 crores amount now answer yeah tell me what is our locked in interest rate i said 5.25 what is the uh, reference rate on expiry date 5.5 we took a buyer seller original buyer will really buy a take a counter seller 
we are getting a profit or loss profit or loss this profit should be applied on how many crores that's what they have done here 5.5 minus 5.25 into 100 crore this is how much you said 20 25 lakhs we have done into 92 by 360 yeah? 3 by 12 3 by 12 directly we have done how much answer you got 6 lakh 6 lakh 25,000 huh? this is what we got if you take in number of days exactly you will be getting how many days answer yeah 92 is a wrong answer eh? that's why institute said alternatively you can also take 90 days if you take 90 days 3 by 12 is same if you take how many days 90 days if you take 90 days answer will be same and different are different so 90 by 360 can i write it as 3 by 12 answer yeah that's all so 6 lakh 25 thousand is also a right answer only 6 lakh 25 thousand how much is the answer we got 6 lakh 25,000. This is the answer for this particular question. First answer to my question clearly. What is our original agreement? Buy Mibara, sell Mibara. Buy Mibara at what rate? Buy Mibara at what rate? 5.25. We will really buy Mibara. We will take a counter sell. Counter sell at what rate? You will get a profit or loss. How much? Point, point 0.25 for 0.25 is for rupees a percent multiplied by the notional principal. How much is the notional principal? What is the total profit you made? 25 lakh. The 25 lakhs is for one year. We want for three months. How much is the answer after conversion? 25. What is the three months value? 6 lakh 25,000. 6 lakh 25,000 is for 3 by 12 or 92 by 360. Saljapal, sir. 3 by 12 or 92 by 360. It's for 3 by 12. That's the answer. Institute also gave an alternative thing. See here, how to say again? Alternatively, mm, it can also be taken as 90 days. If you take it as 90 days, 90 by 360 can also be written as 3 by 12. Then exactly this answer you will get. Understood the point clearly or not? This is the end of forward rate agreements. So, exam, if a question comes, you should be very careful in doing the answer. Please note it down. Sir, we have done with the formula and without formula. Not answering again with the formula, na, without formula. Na. Ah, they don't mug up the formula n into r, r, r minus f r dtm by 360. Without having that formula, na, you can do the answer. Then why the hell we have to do this way? So, up to here, everyone understood the concept clearly. Yeah? Ah, one small adjustment that I have to do. Once that is also done, you will get full clarity. Before going into that, first note down the answer. Note down the answer, yeah. First, question number, question number two, our study material, yeah. write down. Contract, buy. What you are buying? Bar. Locked in rate, 5.25. Actual interest rate 5.5. So, just a minute, some are asking questions. Ah, that I have to discuss. What is the denominator? Yes, that's what I said. Still, some point is left out now. That point is regarding the analysis on denominator. I will tell what it is. Now you do. I will explain. I will explain that. Right now. Sir, in the study material, there is also one denominator. Na? That the denominator is uh, the present value. This profit of 6,25 you will get today. Na? In future, uh, we are going to bring that. Okay. We are going to bring that. So listen. One minute. One small clarity. You are getting that 6,25,000. 6 lakh. You will know that you will make profit of 6,25,000 when? After 6 months, after 9 months. I repeat one more time. You know that you will make a gain of 6,25,000 rupees today. Na? After 6 months, after 9 months. After? 
but that profit will be released to you after the nine months. Therefore, we have to take three months present value. Did you understand or not? That money is given to you today, na? After six months, ah? After nine months, ah? You know the profit amount today, na? After six, ah? Receipt will be made after. That means uh, you are taking the value of six lakh twenty five today, today, na? After nine months, ah? After nine months, but we are doing this transaction at the end of sixth month. Therefore, we need to discount it by how many months, sir? Three months. That's why they have taken the denominator. That five point five percent, sir. They have discounted it for three months. That also I will do. That's why I told na one small concept is still left. We will do that. Write down. This is the information. These are the facts. Write down clearly. F R E gain or loss. FRA gain or loss. FRA gain or loss. Locked in rate. Locked in rate. Five point two five percent. Bracket la write down buy. In the derivatives you will really buy a take a counter sell la. We will take a counter sell at the actual interest rate, also called as a reference rate, five point five percent. What is the profit rate? Point two five percent is the point two five percent is the answer. <coughs> Notional principle. Hundred crore. Notional principle. Hundred crore. Total profit. Hundred crore into point two five percent. How much you said? Twenty five lakhs. Total profit for three months equal to. Twenty-five lakhs into three by twelve. How much is your answer? Six lakh twenty-five thousand. You will get this profit today, na? After six months, ah? Uh, ah, sorry. This profit you know after how many months, sir? Six months, but paid after nine months. In the in this dash, keep a right and right. Nine months or ninth month, you will know about the payment. That means you will receive the payment after nine months. You know this after six months. Listening or not? So we need to discount by how many months again? Three months. Write down present value of profit. Present value of profit six lakh twenty five thousand divided by. Everyone, tell me what is our last rate? Five point five percent. Which rate? Five point five percent. Actual rate is how much percent? Five point five. Five point five into three by twelve. One point five means how to write one point zero one three seven five. Six lakh sixteen thousand. Five twenty three. This is the answer. Six lakh sixteen thousand five twenty three. Six lakh sixteen thousand five twenty three. Now answer to my question: Is there any formula used here? You honestly tell me this is easier. Formula easier. This is only easier because you will go with the flow of transaction. There you have to remember some unnecessary stuff. Okay. Therefore, without formula, to avoid the formula, to understand, this is the best way to understand. If you take three months, this is the answer. If you take ninety-two by three sixty-five, answer will slightly change. Clear or not, everyone? So, institute only said that you can do in any of the way. Either take three uh, by twelve, or you can take ninety-two days. But generally, take three by twelve. You will be risk-free. Everyone understood how to do the question or not? With this, we completed a very, very important area called as a forward rate 
agreement. Question comes in FRA means it comes this way. Okay. Now, we are going into the next area called as interest rate futures. What is the concept here? Interest rate futures. Okay. I will ask you a question. This you will do. Take question number one. Take question number one. When I said that there is exam question, if you may not believe me. Now see. You read. Messrs. Parker and Company. Sir, if you can do this correctly, with the knowledge what I have given to you now, any question in FRA you can solve. As simple as that. See the question first. Don't open the answers. You try, do it and get success in this particular FRA. We go to the IRF. What is IRF? Interest rate futures. Remember simple concept here. Not that difficult. You can easily crack it also. Because we already know the concept of as to how the futures market works. Not a difficult task. See there. Messrs. Parker and companies contemplating to borrow an amount of rupees 60 crores for a period of 3 months in the coming 6 months time. Same like my material question or not. That was RTP. This is an exam question. That's why I told you if you do the book properly. All questions will come in the exam from that only. Properly you have to do all the RTP and study material questions. See there. Messrs. Parker and Company is contemplating to borrow an amount of rupees 60 crores for a period of 3 months in the coming 6 months time. Current interest rate 9% per annum but it may go up in 6 months time. The company wants to hedge itself again as a likely increase. Bankers quoted FRA at 9.3%. What will be the final settlement if the actual interest rate after 6 months happens to be 9.6 and 8.8. Can you do the answer now? Start. Do both the cases. Don't do on calculators. Put pen and paper and write down.
कंप्लीटेड Yes. Have you done or not, everyone? Are you all now understanding and doing the answers? So check the answers now. Question number one. Na uh, first answer have you got four lakh thirty nine thousand four fifty three. Everyone. Next answer should be seven. You might lost the amount seven lakh thirty three thousand eight fifty five. You didn't do this. It's a small difference in values may come little amount of differences. That is not a problem. Whether you are conceptually strong or not, you check. Hello, have you got the answer, everyone? Sir, first to tell me. Sir, enough, enough. One second. Are all of you are confident with FRA concept? Ah, huh? ah, the FRA concept should work like this. So, if you can understand the problems, what I taught you, you can do any kind of question that can come in exam. With this, we have completed another question on this particular forward rate agreement. <coughs> Please keep the heading: interest rate futures. There is no question in your study material regarding that interest rate futures. Interest rate futures. Shall we begin? Mm. See here. I will give you the information. I will give you the information. The question, exam question, I will show you. Once after that, let us understand how to do the answer. Before going into any kind of concept, please see here. Interest rate futures. This is an exam question, a very good um, uh, question that is given in exam for eight marks. Let us read the question. Electra Space is a consumer electronic wholesaler. Business of the firm is highly seasonal in nature. In six months of a year, firm has a huge cash deposit, and especially near Christmas time and other six months, firm has a cash crunch. Leading to borrowing of money to cover up its exposures for running the business, it is expected that firm shall borrow a sum of rupees fifty million for the entire period of the slack season in about three months. A bank has given the following quotations: spot three by six FRA, three by nine FRA, three month rupees fifty thousand future contract. <coughs> three month rupees fifty thousand. What is three month fifty thousand future contract? Standardized size is fifty thousand. Standardized size is uh, futures are traded in singles. A future traded in contract size as a. Each contract size is how much? Fifty uh, thousand rupees. We are having how much money requirement? Fifty uh, million. How many million? Fifty uh, million means how many crores? Uh, five crore. Five crore divided by fifty thousand. How many? Yeah, thousand contracts we need to enter. Okay, 
thousand contract as of now this answer is not thousand contract the variety point will come that makes it more than thousand what is it we will discuss three months five thousand fifty thousand future contract maturing in three months time is quoted at ninety four point one five you are required to determine how a fra shall be useful if actual interest rate after six months turns out to be four point five and six point five how three months of future contract shall be useful for company if the interest rate turns out to be as mentioned in part a above this is a question he is asking a one question if you do any type of question comes in this area you will solve but this question you have to do properly what is the question we are doing interest rate forward loan forward rate agreement interest rate future sir answer see there and answer first read the question it is not there in your study material because study material interest rate futures are not there but exam they are asking and the magic unda leda annattu undali concept undali but question should not be there let the students feel that surprise in exam hall but read the question not so great not so difficult also very easy i think half the question you can do because they are asking irf fra na both irf and fra na both fra and irf they are asking i think you can do fra fra can we do uh, i have some questions to ask that's why read the question first okay first tell me this particular company this particular company will need money for how many months huh after how many months huh cash crunch starts today na after 6 months after 9 months after 3 months first point 6 months it will have deposits remaining 6 months it will have a problem but that problem starts today na after 6 months after 3 months ah eh some are telling 6 some are telling 3 consistency not the read again are clearly he said in the question again you are giving wrong answers year has how many months 12 months la 6 months cash will be there 6 months la problem will come listening everyone which 6 months he did not tell but one hint they have given that during that christmas season and those 6 months time cash will be there huge said remaining period cash will not be there that's a two hints he has given we don't know which months let us break it into two month to half years first half year la cash will be there next half year la cash will not be there so my borrowing is for how many months Huh? My borrowing is for how many months? Are they clear? But when we are seeing all these situations, is a query now. Point is one second, one second. I will get a problem today, na? After today is Jan first. Problem starts from July first. Problem starts from. Now tell me, can I wait till July and borrow? You can't because at that time interest rates may raise. Therefore, I wanted to lock a interest rate in a FRA market today itself. today means not on jan 1st i want to do all these things on april 1st on loudly on april 1st means april may june june la problem will come april na i start taking action on that that means tell me we are entering into forward rate agreement today na adhe we are entering a forward rate agreement after how many months 3 months we are in which month now april we are in which month now April today is April first. I want a rate to be blocked for borrowing to be made on April. Borrowing to be made on June. Uh, I mean uh, July. Answer. Till what? Till what? 
till what start again we are in which month we are in which month april i wanted to borrow uh, in april i wanted to borrow in july till till so i want i want a rate to be blocked for today na after 3 months for how many month so i need what 3 plus 6 totally how much 9 so technically how to write this agreement 3 by 9 agreement what agreement that's why they have given these three rates student who know the meaning only will select a particular correct rate and they will do the answer now did you understand the meaning of 3 by spot 3 by 6 and 3 by 9 what is 3 by 6 borrow after 3 months for 3 months next 3 by 9 borrow after 3 months for 6 months we want which case 3 by 6 or 3 by 9 ah borrowing a deposit ah borrowing a deposit ah relevant rate is what 5 point compare that with 4.5 compare that with 6.5 can you calculate the fra profit or loss on a notional principle of 5 uh, how many crores sir? how many crores sir? can we calculate or not you only should do start keep the heading fra don't use formula without formula you first start doing with the concept no have you done tell me 4.5 ke what is your answer without discounting i am asking without discounting what is the answer 3 lakh see here 3 lakh 60000 total amount will become how much 14 lakh 85000 without discounting you do next one is what 1 lakh 40000 here also what is the total outflow 14 lakh 85000 see the answers i am putting on the screen have you done this correctly up to here sir have you done without formula without formula if you do happily answer will come a formula if you forget me everything will go wrong ah last bit so till now whatever we have done is forward rate agreement ah interest rate futures ah till now whatever you have done is forward rate agreement ah interest rate futures ah forward rate agreement 
now listen we are going into next area called as interest rate futures with this problem we will complete interest rate futures as well exam question listen how we need to do interest rate futures we are having borrowing a depositing a first tell me we are having a borrowing exposure a depositor ah uh, first reason some people in the class are not listening please come back listen carefully okay stop discussions listen carefully we are having one important concept still to discuss called as interest rate futures if i complete this problem we'll take a break <coughs> listening before that we are not going to so please listen carefully let me complete this if i complete now after this particular session i start with swaps forward rates completed and i can start with swaps of chapter so it's up to you whether to listen or not so please listen carefully be here point number 1 answer to this query first we are having borrowing a depositor answer pay interest a receive interest a pay interest a receive interest a first think and tell pay interest means we are going to pay the interest means we are throwing the interest technically try to understand how futures market works is when you are paying the interest interest is coming to me or interest is going out of me therefore they call it sell futures what futures that means we need to pay interest or receive interest pay interest or receive interest pay interest paying interest means interest is going out of me you should enter into interest sell futures a futures futures la buy can be taken sell can be taken so you have to take a sell interest futures or buy interest futures or sell interest futures really in futures market you will sell or take a counter buy answer futures market is about i repeat futures market is about okay interest sa is about money ah percentage sa rupees ah start again we are entering into which market i said we will be in the class till this is completed okay when i say i mean it listen carefully start we entered into which market forward rate market everyone understood three problems i made you to do three one two three three types of questions you have done over forward loan one concept completed forward agreement one problem from my material from one problem from the study material another problem from study material we have done now we are going into last area in forward rates called as interest rate futures next swaps next swaps it is up to you whether to listen or not please listen carefully before we start with the swap i will ask you one question answer this we are borrowing a depositing a at what rate in a interest rate market i have to borrow it say 5.94 correct or not problem with the futures market is in futures interest rates can't be traded what can be traded rupee terms of interest can be traded okay tell me in the futures market in the futures market 3 months of 50000 future contract maturing of 3 uh, maturity period of 3 months is quoted at how much whenever i say whenever i say futures price 94.15 it represents principal part it represents what part principal part interest part is 5.85% interest part is 5.85% that's why they have given like this 100 minus 94.15 like that you should see how much 100 Minus uh, 94.15. How much will be it? 5.85 rate. That means in futures market. Repeat in. Since interest rates can't be traded from 100, they will delete the interest and balance. They will call it as a nostal principle. Balance they call it as a, on each futures. So you should not call it nostal principle. Actually, we call it as a futures price. We call it as what price? Futures price. Repeat one more time. In futures market, we will buy a barona. In futures market, we will buy a barona. Bank market la. Previously we have done F R E na. F R E happens with exchange ya. Yeah? F R E happen with bank ra. That's why we call it as what over the counter derivative. We are coming into over the counter derivative or exchange derivative. 
futures are traded banks are where futures will be traded stock market lo futures has to be traded is any stock market will give interest sir. stock market will give money ya money terms so you have to tell stock market lo there will be buying and selling not borrowing and depositing so to convert your borrow deposit deal into buying and selling there should be some mechanism to do that or not therefore interest they will remove from 100 and they will quote the prices of the futures listening or not i will ask question seven percent interest what is the futures value perfect that's the meaning 9.5 percent interest 9.5 <coughs> percent futures what is the price interest turns out to be seven percent after three months counter sell will be given at 93 that's how you need to understand did you understand the point or not? Tell me. What we have to do whenever we want a rate? Whenever we want a futures buy or sell price, what we have to do? Take 100 uh, minus interest rate. That will become the futures price. Become the? Why they have done like this? We have to buy harta. Why, why it happens? Stock market, la, interest rates are traded. Amounts are traded. Stock market, la, we will buy and sell, la, borrow and deposit. Buy and sell means we are doing borrowing transaction. How to convert a borrowing transaction into buy contract? What they have done is they will take the interest rate. They will take the deduct it from the 100. Whatever the balance price will come after deduction, that will be called as a futures price. Whenever interest rate changes, this future price also will move up and down. Understood the point clearly or not? That's why always futures, interest rate futures, la, futures pricing will be below 100. What I said? Futures prices are always below 100. 93, 92, 96.5, 94.3. Like that the rates will be traded. Understood the point clearly? Yeah? First tell me. <laughs> I wanted to borrow, na, I wanted to deposit. Na. Borrow means pay interest or receive interest. Pay interest means interest is going out or coming in. Means we have to sell or buy. We have to sell or buy. Sell what? Expand everything. Sell. Uh, interest rate futures. Sell. Sell. At what price? 91.94.15. Original sell contract at? 94.15 3 months completed really the rate is 94.15 rate of interest is 4.5 4.5 now you should tell 4.5 means future rate will be 94.15 it will become more than more than 100 minus 4.5 how much 90 ah, this is a sell counter buy I will get a loss again loss how much answer yeah one point this should be applied on a uh, this should be applied on a the answer should be applied on a are wrong answer yeah contract size you have to apply are you understanding on what we have to apply contract size we want how much i crore divided by divided by everyone how many contracts how many contracts Wrong answer, yeah. You want for six months contract is only for two months. Double the contract, 2,000 contracts. I will repeat once again. Futures contract is there for six months. Sir, I want borrowing for how many months? Not answering. I am borrowing for how many months? When I want six months borrowing, futures may not be there for six months. Yeah, that's exchange traded. Bank is a tailor made. If you ask for four months, they will give four months. If you ask for three months, they will give three months. Exchange, like you ask exchange, yeah? please prepare six months rate. Futures are contracts, huh? futures are tailor made. Huh? Contracts, it will expire for three months, four months, one month, two months, like that. In the market, how many months futures are getting traded? Three months future contract. But our borrowing period is how many months? Huh? That means I, re I want hedging for three months or huh? six months. Huh? Answer. Can I create a six months future? You cannot. Therefore, you only double your number of contracts. Three months ki three to one thousand means six months ki how many? 
therefore since you can't extend the period extend the contracts double the contract size that's the new point in this question that's why I given an exam for 8 marks so did you understand or not ah tell me a limited time i am getting tension whether you are understanding or not so point number 1 everyone tell me interest rate futures mechanism did you understand clearly yeah tell me what do you mean by 94.15 100 minus 6.85 sorry 5.85 100 minus 5.85 what do you mean by 4.5 what do you mean by 4.5 futures price is 95.5 you took a original question seller by seller by you will really sell a take a counter by at what rate you get a profit or loss loss of how much rupees 1.35 1.35 1 you got a loss on small one contract but you are entering into 2000 contract each contract la 50,000 rupees is there are you understanding or not okay see here see here once first tell me see the answer there how to present an exam first futures market what you have to do do you understand why self futures original position understood bar on a lender answer pay interest receive going out of me coming into me we are selling a buying a selling so sell futures we have to enter original really you will sell a take a counter by a counter by you take at a prevailing rate what is the futures rate given there 4.5 means the rate will be 95.5 loss again answer yeah loss 5000 sorry 50 take calculator how many contracts 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 not thousand did you understand why 2000 uh, 2000 into each contract how much amount is there into 1.35 percent but we have to take only for how many months uh, three months period now did you understand the point or not that means try to understand clearly interest paid is uh, that means morning we have done one question on currency futures or not currency futures is a real contract a compensating contract means cash market la really you have to do the transaction okay i want you to answer here yeah. after three months when i go for borrowing after three months when i go for borrowing what is the rate prevailing in the market after three months after three months when i go into the market what is the rate prevailing in the market see here how much percent 4.5 percent how much percent 4.5 percent tell me happy sorrow sorrow happy i draw a diagram same applicable also here rate of interest fell to how much percent after three months happy unhappy because i really borrow at 5.85 or 6 percent or 4.5 you are happy here now you will cry in futures that way you got a loss listening or not tell me real cash market law what you will do interest paid or received or paid how many crores five crores at what rate 4.5 for how many months six months how much is your total interest 11 lakh 25,000 11 lakh 25,000 okay next which market we entered futures market we sold a bought sold by loss this is our situation we paid 11 11 lakh 25,000 plus we got a loss this is a total outflow for you understood the point or not now tell me on maturity date interest is not 4.5 but interest turns out to be how much percent 6.5 percent okay what to do let us see cash market so 6.5 percent is a higher rate or lower rate 6.5 is a higher rate or lower rate i will be happy or unhappy unhappy in which market real market cash market when i really go for borrowing what is the rate prevailing what is the rate prevailing take calculator 5 crore into 6.5 into 6 by 12 everyone tell me yeah happy or unhappy unhappy now you will tell i will listen futures market what is our original position buy futures or sell futures 
cell block rate what rate 94.15 rate turns out to be how much in the market 6.5 6.5 means the futures la reversal position i will take a seller buy a buy at what rate 100 minus 6.5 how much profit or loss answer yeah how much huh point point 0.65 will be for 1 rupee this is a profit we have to take for the whole 2000 contracts into 50000 or not take calculator 50000 into 2000 into point 0.65 into 3 by 12 1 lakh 62000 <coughs> 1 lakh 62500 this is a profit or loss Oh, profit or loss? Ah. Profit. This is expense or income? Ah. Expense. Net. 16,25,000 minus 1,62,500. 14,00,000. 14,00,000. That's all. Across any situation, you will not pay more than 14,00,000. 14, That's how interest rate futures works. This is easy because... Eh. This is... <laughs> this is easy because futures is completed. If you understand futures properly and if you understand that 100 minus logic properly, if you understand selling futures properly, if you understand two contracts or double the contracts properly, then this will become easy. If you don't understand all these things and do know why he is selling, why he is buying, why 2000 came all of a sudden, all these questions will arise. Contract is created for how many months? But we want coverage for Answer. So, summarize and tell you. 10 minutes I will leave you. If you answer properly. Tell me. 8 marks or 10 marks questions. If you don't spare time, how can you understand? Tell me now. We are doing FR, forward loan, FR, interest rate futures. Now, everyone, please answer one by one. We entered into borrowing contract, lending contract. Cash market, futures market, two types of markets are there. In cash market, what I am doing? Borrowing. What I am doing? Pay interest or receive interest. Futures market also, you should do the same transaction, but don't write like pay interest. You should understand what is happening to that interest. You are paying interest, means interest is going out. That means you are selling interest or buying interest. Therefore, we should enter into which contract? Sell interest rate futures. Sell interest rate. Interest rate futures rates or values will be calculated in percentage or rupees. Why reason also I told you. What? Stock exchange la interest will not be there. Yeah, anything you should express in rupee. Therefore, they logically formulated that 100 rupees are total including interest. Minus interest if you remove, you will get the main principal amount. So, futures will be traded at some 94.15. At that rate, we gave a seller buyer. Seller buyer. 3 months completed. How many months completed? 3 months completed. After 3 months, rate prevailing happens to be, I didn't remember, 4.5 means 95.5. We went into sell original buyer, sell. Sell at 94.15. Counter by taken at? Counter by taken at 95.5. We are getting a loss again. A loss. Lower interest rate of 4.5 makes me happy in cash market. Makes me sad in futures market. Net position is 14,62,500. But very, very important point is contract size. We want borrowing for how many months? But there is no futures contract expiring for 6 months. There is a futures contract expiring for 3 months. That means if I have to cover my full contract, I need to do the same transaction for how many times? Sir? 2 times. That's why we will enter into 2000 contracts transaction. Everyone understood? Same also apply for the reverse case. Everyone understood the interest rate futures clearly? Yeah. With this, we completed slot 1 of our discussion. Forward rate, forward, forward loan, forward rate agreement and interest rate futures. With this, we completed all these issues here. After the break, we will start with the concept of interest rate swaps. Thank you very much. Take a break and come.